Next, I wanted to show you, I'm so excited, the um, our brand new Daisy Planner. And I'm really, really excited about this. I did um, a short video uh, kind of walking through it. You can find that on our channel. But I wanted to talk a little bit more because I've actually started setting mine up and there was a few things that I forgot to mention um, that I wanted to share with you and just kind of show you how I've started using mine. One of the things I wanted to mention is you can purchase these either um, bound or unbound. So you can get it with the coil, you can get it unpunched and unbound, and you can then punch it. A lot of people have ordered it that way and they use it like with an arc system so you can um, add or take away pages. So you can do that or you can get it with the coil. If you do get it with the coil, you may notice, and when you look at it, you go, that's a really large coil. Why is that so big? Well, there's a, there's a very specific reason why I wanted that larger coil. Is as you memory keep in this, because it's meant to be used for planning and memory keeping, or memory planning, um, you're gonna add bulk. There's just, there's no way around it. Even if you used just flat stickers, you're going to add bulk. Um, but I tend to use um, puffy stickers, puffy alphas, a little bit of die cuts, sometimes some chipboard. So I do end to add, do tend to add a little bit of bulk to mine. So what I didn't want to do, if you start out with a tight, tighter coil, then you end up with a planner that's, you know, like this because of all the bulk that you've added to it and it doesn't lay flat. If you start out with a larger coil like that, it gives you some room to add in that bulk and with without it going kitty wampus like that, that it will it will lay more flat because you've given that extra coil. So that's why there is a larger coil on here. That was totally an intended thing. But you may purchase it with a coil or without. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, we included sticker um, sheets with this. Part of the reason we did that, and oh, I should back up. So there was a bit of a shipping delay. We didn't get these in time, but we wanted to get these out as soon as we could. So what we did, we went ahead and sent out the planners. If you have a subscription with us, we made a note and these will be in your box. Um, if not, we, we have sent them out to you. But part of the reason we included these sticker sheets is if you, um, if you missed out on the original pre-order, or you missed out when we when we first listed the order in December and you're worried about well I don't want to spend the money because I'm gonna miss a whole month well what we've done is we've we've extended the shelf life on this a little bit for people who haven't heard about it or um, maybe it was too close to Christmas and you've you've spent most of your budget and now you maybe have a little Christmas money and you would like to purchase one uh, you can and you can still get six months worth of use out of it because the only thing that's dated in here are the tabs and the calendar. And we've included enough stickers to change those. So you can change that to fit your needs as to even when you purchase it. Um, obviously there's this on here on the back of this as well, but as far as the pages that you use, everything else is undated except for the tab has the month and then the calendar and you can change that with these stickers. So those come with it. So that just kind of extends the shelf life on that a little bit. It is something brand new that we started. We hope that you're enjoying it. I am having a lot of fun with it. I wanted to talk a little bit about, before I dive in and show you how I've used the stickers, I wanted to talk a little bit about our sticker kits because we added two of them to our lineup. Um, and I'll show you those in a moment. So these, I just, Frankly, I, I get all of the stickers <laughs> and use them. I mix, and, I mix them up and use them with everything. But I, I'm going to try and tell you a little bit um, because it can get confusing because there is so many. Which ones, what stickers are kind of intended for what? So just bear with me as I walk through this a little bit. So there's a Daisy Week sticker kit and that has... Um, I believe there's about six sheets in here. You'll have to look at the site first. I've got mine all mixed up, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to, don't quote me on any of this. Just, you'll have to go look at the website. But the, um, the Daisy Week sticker kit and the calendar, uh, Daisy Week's calendar sticker kit, these work if you get our, 
our Daisy Weeks booklet, which is about the size, actually it's the exact size of Hobonichi Weeks. So it's that same idea, but ours has um, only three months in it. So again, so it gives you the opportunity to kind of build up in there a little bit uh, without having a whole year in one, in one booklet, which can make, again, for that whole wide thing. Plus we wanted to use our paper, which is wonderful for stamping on and, um, and so on. So it gives you a little bit more um, versatility there. But so this is the most recent Daisy Weeks. And then I wanted to show you how a layout looks with the stickers. So here is the monthly spread. And you can see where we've used these um, the, from the calendar stickers. And you can see how those then are laid out and used on there to go around on the calendar. That's why they're the calendar sticker kit. And then as you go through, you can see how the other sheets are used um, on the other pages. So I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little look at how to do that. So though that's the two Daisy Weeks sticker kits. And again, I use them on everything. I mix and match, but so one of the new um, one of the new sets that we have this month is a Bible journaling uh, sticker kit. And these are more of a faith-based. If you do Bible, if you do Bible journaling in your Bible, if you do a gratitude journal, um, if you just kind of like to keep track of scripture or anything like that, these are great. This is a great set to use for that. And there are um, there are six sheets in here. So the, and there's always a sheet of the vellum with these beautiful sayings. And there's an alpha sheet in there. Um, so these are really, really fun. And that is the, um, the Bible journaling set. That is the new one what we have on the website. And the other new one that we did is this Daisy add-on sticker kit. And I believe there's four sheets in here. Uh, yes, there's four sheets in this one. This is also a new one. These are meant to go, these do not have any of the, um, the boxes, like for instance, the memory keeping set would have. These are just decoration. These are strictly, these will work in any sort of planning or memory keeping that you do, or memory planning that you do. They're just strictly for fun. They're just strictly decoration. So these are a fun set to have. And that is new as well. And that's the Daisy add-on sticker kit. Now, then we have our traditional that we've had for a little while. We have our classic planner sticker kit. We have our memory keeping sticker kit and our planner sticker kit. So I will break these down just a little bit for you. So the classic planner sticker kit is gonna fit more if you use like a, um, if you use an, I believe this is the size that works with the Erin Condren. Or, no, I take that back, sorry. I knew I was gonna say that wrong, that's why I hesitated. The classic planner sticker kit will work with if you use the classic size Happy Planner. That's what these boxes are made to fit with. And again, so it has the deco boxes, it has um, some sayings, it has an alpha sheet. So that's what the classic planner sticker kit will work with. The memory keeping sticker kit is meant to work with the larger size Happy Planner. So these boxes will fit in the larger size Happy Planner, and these will actually fit in, let me show you, because I put one in here somewhere, in our uh, Daisy Planner as well. So the memory keeping sticker kit, these boxes are meant, the width will fit in ours. And then there's the planner sticker kit. These are a little bit, um, and I only have three sheets here. I think this one has, I don't remember how many this one has, but I used them somewhere and I can't find them. So it's not just three sheets, it's more than that. So disregard how many sheets I have in my hand. But the planner sticker kit, these boxes will work in the, um, in the smaller Erin Condren, I believe. So there is that. But I just, like I said, I just kind of mix and match and use them all. So here is my calendar. And I did a bunch of stamping, I used a bunch of stickers, I used some washi tape. I had a lot of fun with this. 
um, yeah, so I'm going to go in. I have to add more stuff to it, but I just started the other day and I was having a lot of fun with it. And then the one of the things that I wanted to talk about real quick here and then um, I will be done. So if you, this system is set up to be a continuation. So if you, for instance, and I'll try and explain this as best as I can so it's not confusing. So January starts on a Friday the 1st. So if you count all the way through, you end up with the 31st being on a Sunday. And then that is the end of your week up. So you have just enough pages for that month. So then when you go to February, your first will start right on Monday, and then you'll go through. And if I remember counting correctly, the 28th of February, again, ends on a Sunday. So that, you have just enough pages for that. So then March, again, starts on a Monday so your first would be on Monday. Now, this is where I can show you exactly what I'm talking about, that it's a continuation through the six months. I didn't want to, because you're doing memory planning and, um, and you're trying to do your planning, to me, it makes no sense. And again, this is just me, but I was trying to, to think as logically as I could as uh, how to format this for everyone. If, for instance, March ends on a Wednesday, the 31st. So let's go to the last set here. So this is the 31st. So if I'm planning my week, this is March, ends on the 31st. I'm looking at my whole week. I'm going to start April 1st here. So I would date this 1, 2, 3, and 4 because that's my whole week. I wouldn't want to start here, then flip to April, and then start on Thursday for and be going back and forth to see my week. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have an extra set of pages in here to duplicate either. So to me, it makes more sense. It's more fluid to just have a continuation. So March ends on the 31st. So you would then date on this set, April 1, 2, 3, and 4. So then the 5th of April, April 5th is a Monday. So then you would start your Monday the 5th and go through. So that's what I mean by a continuation. And there are enough pages for that in each section for you to continue through. We didn't add extra pages. I didn't want to add bulk, unnecessary bulk. It was a big thing that I didn't want because as I said, when you memory plan, you do add bulk as it is. And I wanted it to be fluid. Now with that said, I did make sure because just in case you decide um, that you don't want to buy the next one in July, which I totally encourage you to do, but if for some reason you don't or can't, um, there we did add an extra one so that you have a f it doesn't continue on into into July and you're left hanging with June. But for the other months, it's a completely fluid continuation from month to month. I hope I explained that well enough that that makes sense. If it doesn't, leave it in the comments below and I can try and explain it again. But the idea is to, to be able to look at a section, if part of that section is one month and part is the other, that you can see it all at once. And you can record it in your memory planning all at once as well. So that's the intent with that. And I'm hoping that this weekend, I'm excited, I want to start playing with the memory keeping section. I can't wait to start this. So I'm a little behind, not too far behind. So I'm excited to sit down and uh, get really creative with all of the stickers and the stamps and um, set up my memory keeping in that. So that's a little bit more about our Daisy Planner. And thanks for joining me today. I know it was a lot and um, we'll see you next month.